Ah, the great American pastime. Vehicular homicide. Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. Death Race 2000. <laughs> Kill! A neat kill! Death Race 2000 is another fun-filled B-movie produced by Roger Corman. I've been on a bit of a Corman kick lately. Here we have one of the car exploitation films released by New World Pictures. Roger Corman released a fair amount of car-based action movies like Cannonball and the 1955 Fast and the Furious. If you're looking for fast cars, stunts, and wrecks, car exploitation is for you. Frankenstein, stop the car! Hold on. Death Race 2000 takes place in the not-too-distant future of the year 2000. Anyway, America has become a place of political unrest and a severe lack of morals. Not at all like today. The only thing society has to look forward to is the three-day transcontinental death race, where these over-the-top characters race across America, and the winner depends on how many points they score. And you score points by running over pedestrians. <laughs> we got a good one for you today. This movie is so much fun. Everything is over the top. The violence, the characters, even the cars, they look like they came straight out of a cartoon. America loves you, Frankenstein! <laughs> The main character is Frankenstein, played by David Carradine. He's the most popular driver in the race, and the reason he's called Frankenstein is because he's been in so many accidents and has had to be stitched back together again and again. At least everyone thinks he's been stitched back together. The funny thing is, under that mask and that weird, rubbery, bondage, dominatrix-type costume, he looks perfectly fine. expect. Another pretty face. The side characters are great, too. You got Matilda the Hun, Calamity Jane, Nero the Hero, played by Martin Cove, who played the douchebag sensei of Cobra Kai in The Karate Kid, and, of course, Machine Gun Joe, played by none other than Sylvester Stallone. In fact, he was in Death Race 2000, the year before Rocky. Love, you son of a bitch. Uh, Frankenstein! Give it to them, Joe! What Frankenstein! He's such a scumbag in this movie, in a fun way, and he's the most entertaining character in here just because he's so wacky. I named my favorite dog after you, Mr. Frankenstein. I did. Lousy, stinking dirt bar. You got two seconds to live. This movie is a mix of science fiction, action, and dark humor. Like I said, the racers score points by running people over. The whole event is televised. You have spectators and commentators. By the way, they have to be careful because spectators and commentators are fair game. They get so excited when somebody gets run down. All right, all right, and yes sir -y. A clean hit! A perfect hit! It's really funny. It's sick. But it's really funny. You could say that this is a commentary about how people have become desensitized to violence, which is true. Hell, I'll admit that I've gotten used to a lot of the gore in the movies I see. But the thing to remember is that this movie is first and foremost very entertaining. We also have this group of rebels who are against the death race, and they fight back against this act of violence through violence. <laughs> I can't help it. I get a kick out of the dark humor. The violence gets so cartoony at certain points that you can't help but laugh. There's one scene where the rebels kill one of the drivers literally by way of Wild E. Coyote Trap. <laughs> I can picture that when the writers were working on the script, they said, you know what? 
we're gonna Looney Tunes the shit out of this movie. Some of my favorite parts are the commentator segments, because they show how this whole society revolves around the death race. As the widow of the race's first score, you have won a high-style two-room apartment in Acapulco. I think this is one of the best car exploitation films for newcomers to the genre. It's a good way to introduce them to car exploitation movies. It's so enjoyably crazy that you can't help but like it. There's plenty of action and fun moments to keep you entertained. Plus, the movie is only 78 minutes long. It's a quick sit, and you have a blast. Now let me ask you, have you seen Death Race 2000? What do you think of it? And what's your favorite over-the-top action movie? The cartoonier, the better. This is your buddy Justin, here to remind you that the grindhouse will never die. <laughs> What a hit! What a fantastic blow! 50 points to Machine Gun Joe!